hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is Tando and I am back with another video <laughs> so guys in today's video I'm sure you clicked on this video because you want to know what happens on um, the assessment day of Emirates um, on Emirates assessment days um, I recently went to the assessment day in Durban and I just want to share with you guys what happened um, all the all the steps that we went through what we did what you know all that stuff so yeah let's get into the video okay so the first thing that happened on that day um we were invited at some hotel in umhlanga so that is where we went and then we got there we were told to arrive there before nine um guys i was almost late because i arrived there um at nine o'clock to be exact nine o'clock exactly like nine o'clock on the dot i arrived and then there was like a lot of people not a lot because i was expecting like a lot a lot of people i was expecting like a hundred to a hundred and fifty you know but there was only like 30 of us so that was like okay this is nice and then we waited for some I think we were called into the conference room at around quarter past nine and then we went to the room and then we were greeted by this gorgeous beautiful lady from from was she from she was from the uk she's from the uk um and then we she greeted us it was nice and then what happened was um she did a presentation of she was telling us basically about the cabin crew life and the life in dubai what happens um you know she was telling us yeah how you will work as in emirates um just just the the the, the, the basic things about emirates about dubai and yeah yeah we were told that you know when you are cabin crew you live a cosmopolitan life so we were like presented with everything and then after the presentation we had to do um this the the, the first step of the day okay so guys during the presentation the, the the lady asked us if there's anybody who has tattoos who has visible tattoos and there was there were like three ladies who had visible tattoos and she was like um unfortunately i cannot assess you today um you can always come back after you remove your tattoo but for now we cannot assess you so you are you you are free to go now or after the presentation you can still you can stay you can stay until the presentation so they decided to stay until the presentation and then after the presentation they went out and then there was like 30 of us left so when there was 30 of us left um she she gave us our numbers she oh she gave us a code a code to put into our online application the application that we did we she gave us the code to put in there and then when we put the code um she she waited for us for all of us to be registered um with the code and then after that she 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 called our names to give us numbers right so she gave us our numbers and then she told us to sit in numeric order so we did that and then after that she she told us to group ourselves into three right so when we grouped ourselves into three um we were given cards different cards for different groups um i remember in our group we were given actor the the card was written actor and then others were given graphic designer others were given photographer um i don't remember the others but i remember those three it was actor photographer graphic designer okay so we were told that um we have to come up with um the skills that this person needs to possess so 
what what skills does an actor need to have what skills does a graphic designer need to have what skills does a photographer needs to have so we did that you have to discuss that into a group and then you're gonna have to go and present in front of the 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 whole room so we 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 came up with the skills and then when we were called we presented we were told to yeah come up with i think i think we were not given the number but we were just told that you have to come up with the skills that this actor needs to have so i remember i said creativity and good listening skill and yeah and the others said theirs and then yeah and then after that um we were given a 30 minute break so we went out you know for some water to go to the toilet or to go get some food so yeah that is what happened and then we came back so before we were called into the room we were just still outside of the room um waiting for her to call us so she called two girls no three girls so she called them in and then after they and then when they came out they told us that they are going they didn't really tell us they told their friends but we could see and then they took their things and they went home so um we were not told why they were going but with what i saw it was because those ladies they had braids guys please when you go for an assessment day make sure that you take down your braids if you have braids please just take down your braids it's gonna help you so those ladies had braids but then their braids the the two of them they had like a bun like on top like the bun was like on top so i think the the lady didn't like that because we all know that as a cabin crew you have to tie your your hair neatly to the back so i'm sure she didn't like that and with also also with the braids braids are big you know so i i think she didn't like that so she told them to go i i think the 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 reason why they told them to go it's is because they had their bun on top so yeah because i remember there was this other one lady she also had braids but she tied them nicely to the back and it was neat and it was looking nice so i think for them it's because she she felt like that was not neat you know so yeah and then after those ladies went home we were called in and then when we were called in she she announced the the numbers of the people that are supposed to stay so fortunately for me i was part of that number um um so uh, and then the other ones had to leave and then when they left um she told us to group ourselves into um like two groups like just two groups because i think there was about like 15 of us left and then she told us that we should just speak to each other and just learn more about each other so we did that and then while she was doing that she was measuring our height and our arm reach so she did that after doing that um also when you are there she's gonna measure you your height and then you have to touch on top of the 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 the, the measuring thing that she's using to measure you you're gonna have to touch on top of it so that that is how they know that you can reach to 200 up to 212 centimeters so yeah that is what happened and then after that she gave us um she gave us like a an a4 page of um of a there was a picture there of a room a hotel room that looked like that was a presidential seat it was very nice it was looking nice and then we had to discuss as a group and then there was a scenario and then we had to discuss as a group we had to discuss that scenario as a group so what we did was we okay so in a group like it was there was 15 of us so i think the group was like what, what was about like the others had like six in their group and then the others had seven i don't remember correctly but there was like 15 of us left in the room 
okay so we discussed um um our our the the assessment that we were given the scenario that we were given was the one where it says um you are a you work at the front desk in in a hotel and then there's a bunch of customers there was one with a tourist couple and then there was an old lady who was sick and then there was a a celebrity a well-known celebrity and then there was like a loyal customer who is a member like a loyal customer member of the emirates uh, i mean of the hotel and then we had to choose which one and then there was also a couple with a dog so we had to choose one that we were going to upgrade to the presidential suite because i think the scenario was saying that there's only like um oh only one person can be at because all the other rooms are full so now there has to be one that has to go to the that has to be upgraded to the presidential suite so we had to choose one I remember in our group we chose the tourist couple who was there for their anniversary so um, we chose that one because we said um, we said something along the lines of it was gonna be you know a gift for them for their anniversary and yeah and then one had to read the scenario the other one had had to say which one are we choosing and why are we choosing it and then all and then all the rest of us had to like explain why we are we are not choosing the others so yeah that is what happened and then yeah we we chose the the tourist couple who was there for their anniversary we said it was going to be their gift for the anniversary and you know all that stuff and then we had to explain why we were not giving the others the presidential suite i remember i chose the old lady to explain the the old lady i pretty much said um the old lady is sick so she she doesn't really want to be in a presidential suite she just needs a room where she can rest and um you know like yeah where she can rest and she can easily reach maybe when she, was, she wants to go to the bathroom and she can easily access the bathroom she can easily access maybe when she wants to make some tea she can easily access that instead of a presidential suite a presidential suite is a big room and everything is just there 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 so she couldn't really maneuver around that room so i remember i said that and then oh guys while you are you are you are you are talking and discussing as a group um the the recruiter will just go around checking everyone she has a a a, a paper where she's like writing um i don't know what she was writing i think maybe the points or whatever oh yes the the recruiter will check will, will go around just checking all of you how you interact with others she's going to check how you speak and all that stuff so so as she's going around she will just write down um guys it is advisable for you to not look at the recruiter just go go on with what you were talking about don't look at the recruiter because now she's going to think oh she's saying this because she sees me you know <laughs> so just 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 be yourself and just and just when when she comes when you are speaking then it's fine when she comes when you are not speaking that's also fine you don't have to like oh because now she's coming and now you have to force yourself to speak no so yeah she's she goes around she looks at everything and then guys also you have to be sympathetic when you are discussing these these scenarios and all that stuff so you have to be sympathetic and then the, there's one thing that i'm forgetting and guys when you are discussing make sure that you don't over speak other people make sure that you give other people turns to speak make sure that you you you, you smile make sure that you are friendly make sure that you are you know just carry yourself well just think of yourself as a cabin crew already you know okay so the other group was given a scenario where they are cabin crew and they um they are flying and there's 
there's customers in there that want a blanket and you only have one blanket so now you have to choose which people you which person you are gonna give the blankets to so there was a pregnant lady there was a 16 year old kid i mean a kid under 16 years and then i don't remember the others and then they had to choose which one they would give the blankets to so yeah and then you we, we discuss that and after discussing we go to present in front and then when we are done we were told to go for a break a 15 minute break and then when we came back this is where i was eliminated <laughs> so this is where i was eliminated and then yeah there was only four people left and guys with the four people left i can understand why i saw people saying like there's no black person as part of that four but then i could understand why there wasn't a black person because the the four people that were selected the one was coming for the second time um to the assessment day she were, it was her second assessment day so the other one was a chi was a teacher and she was very lovely soft spoken well spoken and she was just beautiful and gorgeous and she was yeah i think that's why she was she was selected and then the other one was a flight attendant so she was working for fly a safe fair so she, those people had already had advantages to be in there you know and then the other one hmm the other one i don't remember but all these people had one specific thing that was advantageous for them so i think that is why they were selected and guys please don't be bitter just just accept that you were not called um you're gonna try again the next time and just go home you know so yeah and then i think that was that was pretty much it for the day and then i think the the ones that were left they were left to, to do the english test and then the the interview and then yeah and then they were gonna be called if they they going to dubai or not um so i think that was pretty much it for the assessment day and yeah guys <laughs> i hope like i'm trying to remember if i said everything but i'm not sure but if i didn't say everything then i'm sorry guys you will have to talk in the comment section below and i will see you on the next video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and bye